fresh and early start today. It's an important business to take care of in the city. So, quick blast into the smoke, and afterwards I'll tell you why you haven't heard that much from me in the last couple of months. It's been a bit of a crazy time. Six hours well spent in the hospital. On with the adventure. And I'll tell you shortly why I'm even at the hospital to start with. Reminds me of being in the UK. Please take a seat in the waiting room. It might take a while. Yeah, how the very bloody devil are you? It's been a while. I am very sorry about that, but unfortunately it's been unavoidable. There has been a shed ton of stuff going on in the world of the AMC. So I'm just gonna quickly grab some feud for me some feud. We don't need any feud. I ain't got no beef with you. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna find some food for me and some fuel for the bike. Although feud is probably a bit more apt at the moment, isn't it, for the cost of fuel right now. Anyway, see you in a second. We'll get out into the countryside and the tales shall begin. Russia waste car, sir. <laughs> well, there we go, finally out of the city and homeward bound. That's right, I said out of the city and homeward bound. But we'll get to that in good time. So yeah, what's been going on? Well, for a start, it all began to go downhill when at the beginning of October, unfortunately, I had to go back to work. And sadly, it was a bit of a shock because I went from being 100% furloughed to doing six days a week, 60 hours average per week. And somewhat unsurprisingly, all of my back trouble from before the Corona saga kicked off reared its ugly head again. So all of October and November, I was working like a damn dirty dog without two single moments of freedom to rub together. All of December and January was much of the same, but with an added bit of back pain. And then at the beginning of February, I couldn't take any more. Went to see the doctor, and I've pretty much been off sick ever since with back pain. It's a bit ridiculous. It's a little bit embarrassing. Unfortunately, it is what it is, and it just doesn't seem to be getting better. Although I have finally in the last week discovered that it was originally a suspected slip disc, which is exactly what happened last time, two years ago. But it turns out this time round, the problems are actually being caused by a sacroiliac joint that no longer wants to play the game and is just refusing to move, which puts all sorts of pressure on your spine and on your hip and oh, it just sounds like an old person thing. And I've got it. I mean, I know I'm in my 40s now, but it looks like it's going downhill pretty bloody sharpish lately. So what's gonna happen with that? Sadly, I do not know. I mean, officially, I'm no longer off sick, but it's partially just because I can't be asked anymore to keep going backwards and forwards to the doctors to get written off sick. It's a bit embarrassing because I keep having to tell work on a week-to-week -week basis that I'm not going to be there again. So for this week, I've bunged in a week of holiday just to give me an extra week of breathing space. For next week, we'll have to wait and see. But thankfully, it doesn't cause any pain or discomfort to ride a motorbike, so thanks be to Dog for small victories. But the good news for you lot at home with your viewing hungry eyes, and for me as well, is that as a result of all of this back pain nonsense, and I am 100% sure that the pain and the discomfort is caused by the fact that I have to stand on the piss for hours on end at work in my job in the theatre. Makes me wonder if it's actually the job for me, if I maybe should try harder to uh, get that binned off. But yeah, as a result of all of this, I've also switched things up and gone down to part-time. So that means ultimately I'm earning half the money I used to be, 
pressure is on, but it does also mean that hopefully I can have more time to do this, to do the things I love. What's the point of having money when you're completely crippled and you can't stand up straight? So yeah, I'm putting more value on free time and not feeling like I'm utterly broken when I get to the end of the week. I'll have to wait and see how that goes. Obviously, as a result of my complete lack of putting out any videos, the self-funding nature of the YouTube channel has somewhat diminished. Completely understandably, a bunch of Patreon guys have left, and to those of you who have, I bear you no ill will. In your situation, I probably would have done the same if I was pumping money into some idiot who wasn't actually doing anything for it. But yeah, hopefully that will all change in the very near future now that there's a little bit more time available. With a caveat, which we will also get to in a moment. Oh, I don't know if you heard that, but my hip just clicked. Whereas then, proper clonker it was. Oh, you keep your clonkers to yourself, love. Yeah, so that's the work situation and the back situation. Not ideal, but kind of workable. Just need to keep your head down and soldier on, don't you? I've been proper ramping up the Pilates, though. Not quite a washboard stomach level yet, but I'm hoping at some point this is going to begin to oh, take effect and, and make things a little bit more comfortable. At the moment, while I'm doing a bit of a Pilates session, it mostly sounds like somebody's squeezing a bag of complaints with a hole in it. An old bag at that. Just lots of oofs and groans and urgh, with a fair bit of creaking for good measure. <laughs> So the work and the back situation were already about as bad as they could be. And then as I was at my worst, just at the beginning of my sick leave, lying on the sofa, unable to move, we received a lovely letter from our landlady saying that we had to get out of her flat. Apparently she wanted to get her daughter in. And in Germany, they have this thing called Eigenbedarf which is basically the ability to use it yourself. And as it was mentioned in our contract, because of that, she had the right to request that we vacate the premises at our earliest convenience. And so we had to find somewhere to move to and move, all while I was crippled with backache. Needless to say, we hired people to help us do the carrying and the lifting still the stress didn't help and that therefore is why I said earlier on that I was finally out of the city and homeward bound because I no longer live in Hamburg I've finally managed to wrestle my city born and city bred wife out of the city and into the countryside I mean, not a million miles away from Hamburg we're only about 50 k's away but still I've got her out there trying out that there country life and I and so far I think it's going pretty well. Now I should add that this is just a temporary situation at the moment. We're in a bit of a limbo holding pattern, somewhat undecided exactly what to do because property prices are so ridiculous in Hamburg that it's possible we may not even want to stay here at all. We've got a few ideas of where we could go, what we could do, but I'm going to keep that close to my chest for now because there's too many plates spinning, far too many variables, too impossible to say what could possibly happen. But in the current place for about six months maybe a little bit longer in that time hopefully we'll have made a few decisions oh you would wouldn't you oh hang on that's my dad on the phone yeah he wants his jokes back as for the other thing that's been happening and the reason why i had to go into the city today i'm gonna have to rewind you back almost exactly a year where if you'd have been following me on Instagram and if you're not go and check out the gram now you'd have seen that I was in hospital for a few days because I had an operation on me lug hole I've been planning and not had the time to make a complete video about what actually happened there that'll still happen at some point I promise but long story short I had a growth in my ear that needed to be cut out and with it unfortunately went a bunch of my hearing bones so I've now got a titanium implant in my head helping me to hear amazing what they can do nowadays but the downside of this magical Steve Austin like rebuildage is that exactly a year after the first operation they have to go back in and have another look the operation even in Germany is called the second look so with the first one was entirely the reason why there was a couple of month gap at the beginning of the spring summer last year where I didn't manage to create much content and that was because I couldn't get my ear back in the helmet because for this operation they actually cut my ear almost completely off and then folded it forwards but as you can imagine 
when your whole ear has been practically cut off completely and flat forwards, it's going to take a little while to heal. It's going to take even longer before you can stuff it into a motorbike helmet. So yeah, this morning was an appointment that was made long before we had to move out, which meant the very early start to get into Hamburg to go to the hospital for a 7.30 appointment. Incidentally, I got there with one minute to spare and then completely didn't think about it because I've been out in the sticks for so long and because I've been off sick not having to go into work every day for so long. I got there, first question as you might expect, have you got a corona test? Obviously I didn't have one so that was a bit of a delay as I had to go and get one before they'd let me in. But yeah, today was a bit of a check through, a chance for the doctors to make sure that alles is in order and then we've arranged the date for me to go and have the chop again. I'm not gonna lie, I really don't want it. I understand that it's important because if there's anything left that was in there before, it's just gonna come back again. And I don't want that either. So stuck between a rock and a shit place, to be honest. And speaking of which, bloody hell. Looks like the tractors are shedding. It's that time of year again. Unfortunately, the consequences of that are, because it's planned to happen within a week and a half, they don't hang around here in Germany. But yeah, the consequences of that are, I've got a week and a half now to get as much riding in as possible, because once again, I'm gonna be stuck with a great big gaping wound in my head. You never thought you'd see the day where I'd say gaping wound on this channel. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to put my head in a helmet for at least a month. I mean, fear thee not, in that time, I have got a couple of videos that I've recorded long, long ago that need to be edited and put out there. There's still more footage left over from Austria from last year. There's still at least one episode to come from the trip to the Hearts at the end of last summer. There's a little bit of workshop stuff. And also, during the time when I can't put my head into a helmet, doesn't mean I can't fettle around with the bike and try and do some stuff with that. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I sound like a broken record because I always say this every single year, but I had hoped that there would be a lot more riding, particularly because I was involved with the Kaisen inspiring riders competition where as a finalist I'd already won the chance to try out a pair of the gloves I've got a heated vest on underneath the jacket here and through my use and my ability to inspire the public to go out riding in spite of the horrendous weather I could potentially have won the chance to go to Iceland the end point for the competition was yesterday so obviously sadly I don't know whether I've been successful or not but I am willing to admit that I don't think I've done enough because I just haven't got the riding in because of that whole period of not having any free time because of the job followed by the bad back and then followed by the storms uh, it's all been stacked against me 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 get your violin out why don't you isn't life so hard eh, me, me. i've got sand in my vagina who knows maybe my glowing personality would have shown through just enough to make them want to have me on the team anyway what what <laughs> Yeah, because of all that, there just hasn't been the amount of footage gathering that I had hoped for. Coupled with the fact that I've been using this, the brand new Insta360 One RS. So far, I've been really impressed. If you're interested, check the links in the top right to see the full review of the camera. Spoiler alert, I really like it. But unsurprisingly, because I was using an unreleased camera, and then all of the footage that I gathered up to that point, I wasn't allowed to post. So in Happy Days style, I just had to sit on it. So maybe I could put some of that together into some nice footage, get some musical montages on the go. But yeah, as far as I know, you're pretty much up to date with what's going on here at AMC HQ. Oh, that's a point I almost forgot. After my massive rant about Hondas and their quality control issues, I mean, Calm down, I have not had a response from Honda HQ. They have shown zero interest in having anything to do with it. But the dealership who did the shoddy work did actually fix it. And what's more, they actually came to my house with a van, picked up the bike, took it out to their place, fixed it, and then delivered it back to me. I mean, it took a week, which I wasn't expecting, but still, there was zero stress for me, and I was pretty much at home with a bad back anyway, so nothing lost. Yeah, that's a a slightly positive update that I got the work properly sorted. 
so now the engine cover is installed by an actual professional who in a somewhat unprofessional way was more than happy to have a proper pitch about his colleague that did the work. Naturally I joined in gladly because I'm very firmly of the opinion that a baker that can't bake bread really would be better off not being a baker at all. But yeah, that's pretty much everything up to date I think. We're all on the same page. Everything that's happened over the last few months, the various reasons why I've been so quiet, which I've been very, very unhappy about. It makes me very uneasy to, to check in the YouTubes and see months have passed since the last video, months have passed since the last comment or like. I'm just, I'm so needy. I need constant attention and reassurance. Otherwise my ego goes all floppy. I'm of course kidding a little bit more resilient than that. But there is the feeling that people will lose interest if you don't keep them interested. So hopefully things will change and I will do better in the near future. It does massively help that finally, finally, I can step out of the flat that we're staying in and get my bike out of the garage, which is on the driveway. Oh, such a dream scenario. I get slightly moist just thinking about it. And then even better, once I've ridden the bike off of the driveway, practically in the twisties because we're staying in a pretty small town. I mean, when I say in the twisties, this is still Northern Germany. I mean, they're just like slight wiggles more than anything, but I will take it. It's a massive upgrade on the nonsense that I had to go through to get into the countryside before. There was no such thing as a sub two hour ride for me. And that just to get about 25, 30 minutes in the bendies used to kill me. Absolutely sucked the joy right out of my body and not in a good way because who doesn't like getting the joy sucked out of them once in a while eh? Speaking of which, it's all in there. So with all that squared out of the way all that remains for me is to take in the last few little bendies between here and home before I then reveal to you where I live and the utterly hilarious name of the town that we've chosen to call home for the foreseeable future. So thank you so very much for watching. Thank you so much for being patient with me, especially those of you on the YouTube membership and the Patreon who stuck around despite me having done nothing for the last couple of months. Thank you. You guys are the ones that give me hope that maybe going part-time with the main job wasn't a mistake and this could actually work. But enough of that. I'm sure you're gonna desperately wanna help me out as soon as you see where I live. There you go, what do you reckon to that? Bit of a hovel, isn't it? But it's what I call home. Actually, it's really not, this is private property. I really ought to uh, sling my up before I get arrested. Probably somebody training a long double barreled shotgun on me as we speak. It's one of those bloody ruffians from the city, what, what? Gone with you, you rapscallion. Run away! And there you have it. I live in a town called Itzaho. <laughs> oh, Itzaho! I absolutely love it. I've got to be honest, I've known this place for a long time. Every time I come back here now that we live here, it makes me chuckle. Itzaho. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> oh, it's a ho, it's a ho. Oh, it's a hoe, it's a hoe, it's a hoe! Wait, what's that over there? It's a hoe! It's coming right for us!